are looking live at the East West Ice Palace today, where the Wave look to continue their undefeated season fighting against the Flyers from Valencia as we await face off. Number 11, the quarterback, passes it up. And here come the break, here come the wave on a breakout. Big E with a lot of power and authority into the offensive zone. Battling for the puck. The puck remains, and no, fell out of the zone. The wave reboot. Puck dumped in. And the Lions control the puck. Big E in the corner. Out to the point, to the quarterback. Quarterback battles, and like a good quarterback, makes a good throw into the corner. Puck behind the flyer net. There's Audrey battling the puck. Big E comes to help out. Out to the point, to the quarterback. The quarterback over to Emily. Emily's gonna let that go just a bit outside. Nice shot, a little bit high. Big E with the puck. The wave dominating early time of possession in the offensive zone, centered in front. Emily with another blast, tipped by Little Harps a little bit outside. Flyers taking control of the puck. And the puck is cleared, looks like an icing. And it is. As usual, joining me for today's broadcast is a color, is a color commentator and cameraman B.D. Dang. How you doing today, Mr. Dang? Doing great. All right. Both of us looking forward to an exciting game of action here today. The Wave have made a line change. That's Seven's line. Grit and guts out on the ice. Face off one by Volcano. Over to Bahar. Bahar in the corner. Dances a little bit. Volcano with the puck. Beautiful centering oh. pass. Just misses MC. MC Stick. Mixie, also known as. Here comes Mixie in the corner, battling two flyers. Swanee holds the puck in. Number five is blatantly holding the stick of Volcano, no call. And what do the flyers do? You guessed it, they iced the puck. So the puck will come back down into the offensive zone. We have 12.50 left in the first period. Bit of a slow start this game. I'm sure that the wave will get it cranked up soon. Jack Handles wins the face off. Speedy Ramos with the puck. Jack Handles behind the net. Just too much speed for the young flyer team. Does a cycle back to D-Stud 9. Good move behind the net. D-Stud 9 with the puck. Beautiful pass to Jack Handles. Puck is deflected, deflected. Speedy Ramos in the corner. Over to Jack Handles. Looks for D-Stud 9. Plack, pass defended. Deflected, but not clear. D-Stud 9 with the puck and in the corner. Passes it to Jack Handles. Puck remains in the wave zone. And still not cleared. Speedy Ramos with the puck in the corner. Out to J-Dog. J-Dog with a nice little flip down into the corner. D-Stud 9 comes up with it. Trying to pass it out. Behind the net to Jack Handles. Puck remains in the offensive zone, in the flyer zone. Big E with a rebound and a score. Good hustle, excellent read by Ethan Dang. During a shift change, comes flying out onto the ice, has a loose puck in front of the goalie with a beautiful backhand and the way he won to nothing. Excellent hustle, BD. And he wasn't cherry picking, Pete. And he wasn't cherry picking, which I know annoys you to no end. That was pure hustle. All that dry land training 
of swimming and beach running has paid off for this goal. Big E wins the faceoff and falls over three sticks, but he's back up. Here comes Blake. Blake showing some explosiveness. Puck remains in the flyer zone. Come the wave with the puck. Big E looking for some space, can't quite catch up to the puck. The puck is dumped into the wave zone. And it looks like we have a very rare icing call against the wave. The head man passed the Big E just a little bit too hot, and the puck trickles down into the flyer zone. So the, for the first time all game, the flyers are going to see what the inside of the wave zone looks like because of the icing call. Do our best to describe action when the puck is in the other zone. Believe me, it ain't easy. We win the faceoff, and the puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Puck is now into the flyer zone. And the quarterback takes control of the puck. Over to Emily. Here comes Volcano. Keeps control of the buck. Taken down to the ground. No ref's arms up. And the puck remains in the flyer zone. The quarterback with an excellent dig. Over to Bahar. He moves in. Oh! And Bahar puts it in the jar with a beautiful backhand. And the waiver up to the up. Bahar with nice stick handle and move. Backhands it behind the goalie and puts it in the jar. Nice shot by the jar. The way it leads to nothing. Excellent stick handling move. Amen. Return to action. Here comes Jack Handles into the offensive zone. Over to Dylan, back to Jack. Oh. And a save. Nice little give and go by D Stud 9. And Jack Handles. The goalie had perfect positioning and was able to block the puck. D Stud 9 with the faceoff does not win, but. The puck remains in the flyer zone. Jack handles over to Swanee with a shot, a save, a rebound, and a score by Mick CQ. Beautiful rebound in end, and the wave lead it three to nothing. Good hustle, good pressure by that line. It was nicely done. We have 9.27 left in the first period. The wave already up three to nothing. The puck is centered in front of the wave net, but a little bit out of the reach of their player. And the puck is cleared. Here comes Speedy Ramos. Speedy Ramos into the flyer zone, and then the puck is cleared. Route 66, back to Speedy. Big E with the puck. Swanee picks it up, dumps it into the flyer zone. We have 8.46 left in the first period. The wave off to a 3 to nothing lead. Puck is dumped into the flyer zone. And here comes Little Hearts. Little Hearts centers it just a little bit in front of Big E. 
Kostoski with the very good pinch. Shot on goal, save. And just out of the reach of, B, of Big E, who happens to make contact with a much smaller player. And surprise, surprise, gets called for the penalty. You know, one good thing about playing Bantam next year, BD, is that will not be a penalty. But anytime you got a big on a small, you're going to have that happen. No big whoop. The wave will go shorthanded. According to my calculations, they've scored five shorthanded goals this season. So this is on them for another goal? I think there's an opportunity for that to happen. The wave have the puck. Here comes Bahar. He shoots it with a save and a rebound just a little bit out of the reach of Little Harps. Good, good pressure by number 57. Little Harps keeping the puck in the flyer zone. J-Dog oh, pinching nice. down, removes the puck from a bewildered number nine. And the puck is head man up for a little bit of a breakout. Good back check by Little Harps. Excellent hustle. And number 21 actually touched the puck for the first time all game. A shot oh. in front, good save by number 21. Getting the leg extended to block it with one of his oversized pillows. That was the Flyers' first shot on goal. The waiver out shooting the Flyer 9 to 1. 7 12 left in the first period. Wave up 3 to nothing. Trying to kill a power play. Shot is blocked. And it is clear. Back into the wave zone. Attempted penetration denied. And here comes Volcano. Good stick lift, good battle. Puck in the corner. Out to the quarterback. The quarterback has it, good control. Looking to dish, a little dipsy do. And loses control, but back checking is the quarterback to pick up the scraps. Audrey's tripped, no penalty. Small on big never gets called, but big on small always gets called. Hmm, interesting. Good attempt at a headman pass. Just out of the reach of Mixie. Six oh five left, nine to one. The wave are out shooting the Flyers and lead three to nothing. Puck in front of the net, and Jack handles with the puck. Oh, nice pass! He hands it up to D Stud Nine, just a little bit out of his reach. He's the nine right oh. in front, and a score by MC. McHune with the second goal with a nice dish from Dylan Herman. D stud nine with an excellent pass in front, and the waiver up four to nothing. That all started with Jack Handles using his speed and acceleration to get the puck over to D stud nine with a good centering pass and a four to nothing lead for the wave. Jack Handles with the puck again. Over to MC. Shot on goal, save. Jack Handles, an excellent four check. Loses an edge. The puck remains in the flyer zone. Jack Handles just taking the puck for a walk anytime he feels like it. A shot on goal, tip just wild. MC with the puck to Dylan Herman. Dylan Herman in front to Jack Handles. Back to MC looking for a hat trick in the first period. A shot and oh. just missed it, just a bit outside. Nice little cycle. The Wave pretty much doing whatever they feel like in this game. MC, oh. Nick C, loses control of the puck. 
but it's still held in. The wave making a line change. Big E is out. times this game the puck is in the wave zone and it is clear here comes Blake Blake with a nice try to send it across ice but offside call on the wave four to nothing 11 to one in shots 426 remaining in the first period I think Blake should have taken that puck into the zone Blake did appear to have some space and Probably should have been a little more selfish on that. I would agree. Face off at center ice. Big E waiting for the puck to drop. Not sure what the ref is doing. Looks like a little game of hide and seek. Finally drops the puck. And the puck goes into the wave zone. Behind the wave net. Centered in front. And the wave are there to cut off any type of a threat. And here comes Speedy Ramos, taking the edge. Good cutback in front. Centers it to Big E. Two saves. Blake with a shot and a good series of saves by number 26, the Flyer goalie. A couple good scoring opportunities. Just needed to get the puck up a little bit. Still a very impressive start to the game. 14 to 2 on shots. <laughs> puck remains in the flyer zone. The quarterback picks his down, keeping the puck in the zone. Attempted clear is successful. Little Harps rushing back with a very good back check to keep the puck out of the wave zone. Wave, the puck is dumped into the wave zone. Emily has the puck. And she clears it. Nice headman pass up to Volcano. Just a little bit out of his reach. Here's Bahar with a nice little move. Centers it in front. Oh. And another nice save by the Flyer goalie number 26 who is definitely getting his workout today. Hopefully he ate his Wheaties this morning, BB. He's already seen 14 pieces of rubber flying his way. Excuse me, 15. That was the 15th shot on this young man. Looks like Coach Epperly's mixing up the lines a little bit today, and why not? Today's the day to try that. Jack Handles wins the faceoff. Has the puck, he shoots. Another nice save with the rebound. That trickles behind the net. Audrey with some good hustle, tying up two flyer players. Puck is loose in front. And the puck is temporarily cleared out of the flyer zone, but don't worry, it'll be back in their zone. And as predicted, the puck is back in the flyer zone. Puck is clear out of the zone. And Jack Handles picks up the garbage. Taking the dog for the walk, also known as the puck. Oh! Beautiful centering pass to Mick C. Just a little bit wide. A shot from the point, deflected. Jack Handles, another outstanding save by the Flyer goaltender. That's 18 shots he's faced already. And we still have two minutes left in the first period. Swanee holds the puck, another save by the Flyer goalie. Mick C with the puck. Attempt to center it in front to Audrey is denied. Swanee with a good save, keeping the puck in the Flyer zone. <clears throat> Speedy Ramos attempts to hold it in, but the puck is clear. Route 66 picks it up, passes it over to Swanee. Swanee dumps it in. We got a minute 41 left in the first period. The wave out shooting the Flyers 19 to 2. Here comes D Stud 9 with some room. With a slap shot. Oh my! That had some sauce on it, just a little bit outside. I think if that shot's on target, we're talking about the fifth goal for the wave. is 
being battled for near the flyer zone. Speedy Ramos over to Route 66, over to Swanee. Puck in the flyer zone, and it remains in the flyer zone. 54 seconds left in the first period. <clears throat> And doesn't look like the refs are going to blow it dead. And Dylan Herman with a great pass to Big E. Oh. Who shoots it just wide. Very nice centering pass by Dylan Herman. And Big E just a little bit outside. And it looks like we have an offsides. And we've got some wave and flyer players who got tangled up. Everybody looks good, alive, healthy and play will resume. Another excellent scoring opportunity there. Boy, I missed it by that much. Barely missed it. And if you could see, which you can't because we're behind the camera, BD held his two fingers to about two inches apart. That's about how far outside that shot was. You have 23 seconds left in the first period. Puck is in, rarely, the wave zone behind the net. J-Dog with control. Battling, and the puck squirts out in front, <clears throat> covered by number 21, Parker. Hopefully Parker took some no-dos this morning before the game because he's been all by himself. It's like he's on timeout down there. The way win the faceoff. Period. We'll be back with you after a word from our sponsor. Please check out the mix and match at McDonald's. We could get a Big Mac, a quarter pounder, and a 10 piece chicken nugget, your choice of two, for only $5. Don't forget that McDonald's is the official sponsor of the wave. And the great deal for them is they don't even have to pay for it. <laughs> so, what do you think about that first period, BD? I thought we were being aggressive. I like that. Yeah, a lot of aggressiveness, as indicated by the 19 to 3 shot total. Off. Has the puck in the flyer zone. And the puck is temporarily clear. Here's Big E, takes possession of the puck. He shoots and he scores with a mighty blast from the left side. A wrister that goes top corner. Unbelievable. That looked like a man shot to me, honestly. BD, that was an impressive shot. Nothing but net. 
you saw that how your uh, satellite I, image. I managed. I moved behind one of the. I moved to the side of one of the pyramids here in Cairo, where I'm stationed. You didn't call the CIA and they give you a no. <laughs> Ethan Dang with his second of the game, an absolute rip job. That puck was behind the goalie before he saw it. Here's a shocker, ladies and gentlemen. The puck is in the flyer zone. Eminem Factory behind the net. Walks it out in front, out to Frosty at the point. Frosty slides it over to J-Dog. J-Dog with the ripper tipped to wide. Eminem over to Ma over to Big E who centers it. Good oh. idea, but nobody home. <clears throat> oh. Frosty has the puck. Oh. And onto the ice is Dylan Herman. Tried to take control of the puck and couldn't. But his line mate, Jack Handles, has the puck over to Dylan. Dylan behind the net, in front. Shoots the puck just wide, I think, from what I could see. Jack Handles in oh. front, over to Frosty with the shot and a oh. score! Was that a tip? I'm not sure if that was tip or if that went to Frosty. Looked like D Stud 9 was right there, but I'm not exactly sure who got that one. It's a 6 0 lead. Face off one by the way. Icing. Wifing looks like it's been ways wifing. Icing. <laughs> That's a different story for a different day. Puck is in front. Goes high up into the air. Not exactly sure how, but it did happen. Jack handles with the puck. Just walks it in. Nice save. And the puck is clear. The puck will not get in for icing. It has been waved off. Oh. Emily struggles but does clear the puck. Dumps it out. Here comes Dylan Herman with the puck. Oh. A shot and a save. Rebound, another save. Dylan with the puck out to the point. And out of the zone. Offside called on the way. The wave now leading shots 23 to 3. Left 12 27 left in the second period. We're going to be hitting running clock here pretty soon after the wave's next call. Do no clock will be running. Lonnie with the puck, up to Eminem Factory. Here comes Audrey with some nice burst. Come a on, centering Audrey. pass in front, and it looks like the goalie got it, and he did. Oh, I thought that was going in for Audrey. I did too. Audrey had some nice burst to get some space in the slot, but wasn't able to get the puck behind the goalie. Excellent effort, though. Good hustle. Puck remains in the flyer zone. Audrey with it. Attempts to slide it over to one of her line mates. Monty Montero, the M&M factory. Great hustle to keep the puck in. Moving inside, moving towards the net, behind the net. Attempts to pa pass it. Oh, shot on goal. Don't touch it, Parker. Is that count as a, no, that was a, what I think you would call the meekest shot on goal history of ice hockey, but nonetheless it was a shot on goal. Here's Blake with the puck. Over to Monty with a blast that went off of the goalie, it looked like, and into the netting. Not the net in the goal, but the netting that protects the spectators. Ask Parker if he's cold. Parker waving to the cameraman. I mean, what else is he going to do at this point? 
Tell me wonder if we could, wonder if we could get Parker a special from a mix and match from McDonald's. Keep him busy over there. <laughs> Face off one, by the way. A blast by J Dog. Shot significantly over the net, but a nice shot nonetheless. Puck out to the point to Frosty. Puck is now behind the net. Nice center oh. pass intercepted. Good anticipation by the flyer, player number 30. Shoots the puck way outside. And J Dog with control. Good help from Volcano coming in to help out his teammate. And Bahar has it. He's kicking it with his leg. Or his foot. Nice going. Volcano with the puck, and he's got space. In front, he shoots. Save by number 26. Excellent save. We got 10.30 left in the second period. The way we're up six to nothing and are out shooting the Flyers from Valencia, 24 to three. Hey, Parker just waved at me. <laughs> Parker, the wave goalie, is practicing his waving. Again, what else is he gonna do? Face off one in the flyer zone. Big E all over teeny tiny number 28. Oh! And the puck pops over the stick of Emily. McC has the puck, bounces it off the boards. Eminem factory with speed, with space. Centering pass, deny. Here's the quarterback with a slapper that's blocked. Big E holds it in, over to the Eminem factory. McSee holds the puck in. Over to Emily at the point. Big E has the puck. Bodies flying everywhere. The quarterback pinches in, holds it in. M&M Factory with the puck. Out to Emily at the point. And the puck is temporarily clear. But right back in to the flyer zone. Here comes a partial line change. And the puck is cleared. j Dog with the puck with nine minutes to go in the second period over to Jack Hamels. It's always a good idea to get the puck to Jack Hamels. He passes it up to Speedy Ramos, who uses his speed, shoots on goal, saved by the goalie. Dylan Herman out to the point to Route 66. Pass back behind the net. Dylan Herman in front. And a score! Jack handles with an assist to D Stud 9. I think, who scored? Yeah, it was Jack handles. Okay. Yeah, Dylan passed him the yeah, puck, yeah. and then he buried it. It's now seven to nothing, and we should be moving into running clock. Twenty-seven to three on shots. Oh, Dylan with a hard shot, just a little bit outside. Jack handles, passes it over to Swanee. Swanee with the shot on goal, locked in front, and not clear. Speedy Ramos gets the loose puck, dangles, shoots, saved by the goalie. Penalty being called. Penalty being called on Dylan Herman. High stick? Looks like they got him for high sticking. So J Dylan will chill by himself in the penalty box. The way will be shorthanded. I'm predicting a shorthanded goal on this shift. 
I'm not taking you on that bet. I think you're right. Oh, oh, BD agrees with me. I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna disagree with me. A nice shot from the point by the Flyers. Blocked. Got to give these Flyers from Valencia credit. They're still battling and doing the best they can. They're just clearly outmanned in this game. Not their fault. Just playing against a team that is much better than them at this point in the season. Puck in the corner. M&M Factory battling. Blake with a nice pinch. And here come the Flyers. A little bit of speed. Good positioning by J Dog. Excellent defense. Oh. Monty Montero's tripped. M&M Factory, but they're not going to call that at this point in the game. And quite frankly, I don't blame them. Here comes Montero, the M&M Factory, with a blast and a save. BD, that almost made my prediction come true of a shorthanded goal, but the goalie had to go ahead and make a nice save and mess up my prediction so far. He's got a minute and five seconds left. That is true. Minute five left on the power play. 7-10, not the radio station, but 7-10 left in the second period. Oh, we are not on running time. I thought after a seven goal lead we are, which is fine. More ice time. Face off one. Little Hearts with a shot on goal. Saved. That would be shot number 30 of the game for the wave to three. J Dog with the puck. Passes it up. And the Flyers called for offside. 48 seconds left in the penalty to Dylan Herman. 6.53 left in period number two. Little Harp comes away with the puck. Audrey with some slashing, a shot just a little bit wide. Looked like it was deflected. Audrey battling the puck in the corner. Puck barely cleared, but dumped back in to the flyer zone. 25 seconds remember, were remaining in the flyer power play. There's the quarterback with the puck. Dumps it in. Audrey has it. Keeping the puck to the side. Emily just onto the ice. Oh, a nice little move to dump the puck into the wave zone. Oh, I'm sorry, into the Flyers zone. <clears throat> the Flyers with the puck. Uh, their power play, shockingly, is over. And they did not get a shot on goal. In fact, the puck wasn't even in the wave zone for more than 10 seconds during that power play. Puck cleared up to MC and into the Flyer bench. We have 5.43 left in the second period. The Wave dominating 7 to nothing, and leading in shots 30 to 3. Parker with his fourth shot on goal, an easy save. And a face-off will be in the wave zone for probably the second time all game. The quarterback has the puck. Tries to clear it. Is not successful in doing so. But that sevens line was able to clear the puck with some excellent forechecking up front. Puck into the flyer zone. And here come the Flyers on the charge, which is denied by the quarterback. The quarterback over to Emily. Emily with some dipsy doodle. She must have been watching Big E or the M&M Factory with those moves. And the puck oh. is temporarily in and out of the wave zone. I think this is the most puck possession the Flyers have had consecutively all game. But that's over now. MC Kuhn gets checked to the ice. But small on big, so nothing called. Emily comes up with the loose puck. Passes it up. 
to Bahar. Offsides call on the way. 4.29 left in the second period. The way with the commanding 7 0 lead. of the M&M Factory, Jack Handles, and Big E. That is what you call a powerhouse lineup. Jack Handles with the puck, skates outside, looking for space. Dumps it down to the side. The wave is, the, the puck is not cleared, held in by the wave. Swanee pinches down. Actually, that's Jack, yeah, Swanee pinches down in front. Shot saved. Big E with the puck centering pass. And another save by the goalie. What happened? That's a good question. I was just asked what happened. Well, when you broadcast from Egypt and Artesia, you don't always see things that are going on. I really couldn't tell. It looked like a little scrum, but everything's good now. 350 left in the second period. Face off one by Jack Handles, dumped into the corner. Jack follows his own shot into the corner, comes up with the puck. Flyer takes possession, and they are able to clear the puck. Take the puck into the wave zone, shot is blocked by Jack Handles. Pass behind the net. Flyers with some impressive puck movement. But that is short lived. The dream is over. The puck is back to Eminem Factory. He goes wide. Passes it in front with a beautiful pass. Out to the point to Route 66. Over to Swanee. Swanee with a shot and a save. We'll have a line change here. Looks like Coach Epperly is experimenting a little bit, running some different players together. This is a perfect game to do that in. We have 2.56 left in the second period, 33 to four on shots. He stud nine behind the net with the puck, out to the point. Oh, and the puck eludes Frosty. He picks it up. Slides it over to J-Dog. Nice puck movement. Blake gets the puck, dumps it into the zone. Speedy Ramos behind the net, in front, with a shot, a save. Dylan Herman with the rebound foot back. D-Stud 9 picks up the garbage and delivers it with a goal. Nice. The waiver up, eight to nothing. Speedy Ramos wins the faceoff. Puck dumped in temporarily, trust me on that. Into the wave zone. Puck had mounted up to D-Stud 9. Loses it. But here's Speedy Ramos. Over to Blake. Over to Dylan. Beautiful passing. Tic-tac-toe. Dylan into the zone. In front. Oh, and an amazing, was it a save or a goal? No signal for a go. Looks like a go. I don't see any signal from you. We don't know what it is. Well, it's not a goal because the puck's not coming out the center. Nice. And here's Parker doing stretches and calisthenics. Gotta love it. The wave control the puck, Big E behind the net. Over to Frosty. And the puck is in and out of the wave zone.
Flyers up in center ice. We have about one minute left in the second period. Puck into the Flyers zone. Centered in front. Nobody home for the wave. Flyers with control of the puck. And the puck is out of the wave zone, out of the fire zone temporarily. The quarterback, nice stick handle. And good use of some Mohawk skating, which he learned for sure in numerous sessions with Coach Epperly. Definitely paid off there. Is he able to put the puck out of the wave zone? About 44 seconds left in the second period. The wave with 36 shots on goal to four by the Flyers and have an eight to nothing lead. And into the wave zone. With the wave out control, the puck turned over. The Flyers have it. But cleared off to the side by Route 66. Passed up to double seven. And here comes Volcano. Volcano explodes into the Flyer zone but loses the puck. Excellent hustle by Volcano. Puck remains in the Flyer zone. Volcano in front gets taken down from behind. Nobody's hand is off. Oh my. That was a nice tackle. That was very nice tackle from behind. If this was an NFL, if this was the NFL, I'd give that player a star on his helmet for that excellent tackle from behind. Apparently the referees agreed because they didn't call a penalty. It's all good. The, the wave completely dominating. It is a tsunami. It is a tidal wave. Pick your adjective. It is 36 to 4 on shots. Shockingly by Big E. Here comes Jack Handles with his newly minted C on his jersey as he's been elected captain and rightfully so. Puck is in and out of the flyer zone. Gotta really respect these flyers. They're coming in and they're continuing to battle and giving it everything that they have. They're just playing against a far superior team. Pass up to Jack Handles. Beautiful pass over to Big E. Big E, nice acceleration to get some space. Looks in. Oh! Beautiful pass. Oh! And now, coming in factory, just missed tapping it in. But I got to 
tell you, that was a big boy hockey play right there by Big E. A phenomenal pass that Eminem Factory just got a little bit of. And back into the zone we come. Good job, Big E, taking it easy enough to crush the little flyer player. He did that with, in a very kind way. Puck out to the point over to Emily. Over to Frosty with a blast. Oh, just wide. Excellent shot. That had some pepper on it. Frosty loses control of the puck. And look at Emily with the amazing hustle and takedown. That will be a penalty. That was a good penalty. That was a legitimate penalty. It was a trip. But excellent hustle by Emily to come in and prevent a scoring chance. That was a good penalty. I would agree. Some penalties are good to take. That would definitely be an example of a good penalty. To take. Nobody got hurt. No. And even though it was a legitimate penalty, it was a clean penalty. Run time. Puck is won by the Flyers who take a shot that's outside. Speedy Ramos passes the puck up. And D stud nine is unable to clear. J Dog passes it up to Speedy Ramos. Speedy Ramos coming in using his speed. Good floor checking. Making these flyers work to even get the puck out of their zone. Loose puck at center ice. Dylan Herman comes up with it. Accelerates into the zone. He's behind the net. Keeps behind the net. Keeps his possession of the puck over to Speedy Ramos. Speedy back to Dylan. Dylan is removed from the puck and the puck is removed from the zone. Two forwards going out, two forwards coming in. Flyers into the zone looking for their first goal of the contest. They're not gonna get it with that shot. Puck behind the net. Puck off to the side of the net and the M&M factory has come up with it. Look at that speed and acceleration and a shot and a save and a rebound. Score! Monty Montero with the rebound of his own save shot. Puts it behind the bewildered goalie who has got to be tired from the 39 shots in his face today. And that puts the wave up 9 to nothing. And here comes another goalie. 26 did an outstanding job facing the onslaught that is known as the tidal wave. The wave lead 9 0. Penalty has ended. Here comes Audrey. Passes it in the middle over to Emily. Good stick handles over to Route 66. Dumps it behind the net. M&M Factory all over it. Has possession. Good centering pass intercepted. But the puck remains in the flyer zone. Emily, good job. I'm sorry, Audrey with a good job of coming up with the puck. Keeps the puck behind the net. Over to the M&M Factory. Swanee holds the puck in. Just looking for a little space, and the puck is clear. No fear, Route 66 is here. He's got the puck, and passes it over to Swanee. Swanee with a nice move over to Route 66, who attempts to pass it to his little bro. The pass is intercepted. We have 9.37 left in this hockey game. I'm pretty sure we're not going to overtime today. Here's Big E with the puck. Passes it to Little Hart. Shot, deflected, cutting in the slot. Blake comes up with it. Oh! Big E going for the hat trick.
Patrick slides it across the crease to no avail. Puck remains in the flyer zone. Out to Route 66 at the point. Over to Big E. Oh! Off the top of the stick of the small goalie. Good save by the goalie off the nub of the stick. Big E looking for the hat trick. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, Here shoot it. Comes. Route 66 shoots it just a bit outside. Good job by Swanee pinching in. Big E takes the point. Smart read. Puck behind the net and not cleared. Route 66 over to Big E. Big E lets it rip, but it's deflected. Route 66 has the puck. Centers it over to Big E. Oh, what passing. Nice headman pass up to Mick C. Mick C dangles, dangles, shoots, oh! and he scores! Oh, nice. Mick C with a nice little dipsy do into the flyer zone, and he shoots and scores. I believe that's a hat trick for Mick C. Nice. Beautiful handles by the young number 78 Nick C for at least his third goal of the game. And the waiver up 10 to nothing. Puck goes back into the flyer zone. And out. The Flyers continue to try and press. Puck into the slot. The fifth shot on goal easily saved by number 21. Puck out in front, there's a scrum, and the puck is cleared out of the wave zone. Offside by the Flyers as they're attempting to duck the puck in. Yeah, we are now on running time, which we probably should have been about four goals again, with four goals ago, but who's counting? Fifty left in the game. The goals out shooting. I'm sorry. The wave out shooting the Flyers, 42 to six. Monty Montero buries another one. The M and M Factory buries a wrist shot just under the crossbar. It is now 11 to nothing. Six minutes left. 11 to nothing wave. Here comes a little harps into the zone. Monty Montero, the M&M &M factory. To oh! Centering pass. Just a little bit too hot for Big E to handle. Eminem Factory with the puck. Dangles. Trying to get the puck over to Big E. Shot by Mr. Guzman from the point. Save off rebound. Just wide by Monty Montero. Eminem Factory passes it over to Ethan behind the net. And the puck is clear. Here come the Flyers on a breakaway. A shot and a save by number 21. Excellent save by Parker. By far his most difficult shot of the day. Here comes Big E. Big E over to Little Hearts. Little Hearts gets it over to Mont. Down and Factory. A shot and a nice save. Ethan! Oh! Big E shoots it just wide off the pass. Off the shot. Monty Montero with another gunner. A little bit high and outside. And the puck is saved.
face off in the side of zone. One by Jack Hamlet. Picked up by Dylan Herman. Out to Swanee. Swanee shoots it just a bit outside. Puck behind the net. Skinny Ramos picks it up. Dingles, dangles over to Jack Handles, tries to get it over to D-Step 9. And the puck is not, it is clear, barely. We have the puck, Jack Handles passes it to himself beautifully. That's why he's Jack Handles. And tries to center in front to Dylan Herman. Pass did not arrive. Speedy Ramos has a puck behind the net to D-Stud 9. D-Stud 9 in front to oh. Jack Candles. Just misses another, another scoring opportunity in the puck is ice. Forty-five to eight on shots. Blake with the knife, centering the tap to Audrey. The m and factory in Gretzky's office. Puts one guy down just by skating. Pushes the little guy down to the ground. No penalty call. Blake battles. m and factory with the puck. Puck in the slot and clear. Good stick lift by the M&M Factory. He's still playing hard. Has the puck, looking, looking. Tries to pass it, it's intercepted. Here comes another breakaway for the Flyers. Let's see if they can score. And they do not score. Another save by Parker. Getting a little sloppy. Come on, Audrey. In moments of the game. The way of giving up two breakaways. Both saved by Parker. Audrey! Oh! oh! Just, just trickles wide after the goalie gets a part of it. We have one minute and 40 seconds left in this game. Pass up to, to Volcano. Volcano moves in. Separated from the puck. Puck is cleared and offside called on the road. zone for a change. And cleared out temporarily. Flyers have the puck in the wave zone. Frosty has it. Good speed. To get the puck out of the zone. We have 35 seconds left. As the Flyers will make a long trek back to Valencia. But they came here and they gave everything they had and they're still fighting with 20 seconds left in the game. God respect their grit. Solid effort from the Flyers. Just completely outplayed by a team that's just a lot better than that. Another save by Parker to preserve his shutout. Four seconds left. Another save by Parker, and the game is over. So the Wave keep their undefeated season intact right now. As the two teams will congratulate each other for a game well played. Got to respect the Flyers for playing hard all the way into the end. They did not give up. There was a lot of fight in this team. Just really tough matchup for them this week going up a very physical a very big and a very skilled tidal wave team
All right, that'll do it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back with you on January 5th when the Wave have their next game. And both BD and I will be back to bring you this game. Thank you for joining us, and have a good rest of your day. Toodaloo.